found distinctly different about doing the pure awareness techniques from doing the TM, Transcendental Meditation, is that instead of just going into pure awareness and then allowing the purification process to just sort of happen in a very gradual, natural way, which is what happens in meditation, the pure awareness techniques are not for the faint of heart, okay? Because what we're doing is we're specifically targeting the very barriers that are there to living in pure awareness all the time. So we, we really sort of go after them much more, uh, almost say aggressively, or we can say much more consciously. Our intention is to specifically access and resolve the barriers to living in pure awareness all the time, and not just kind of allow it to happen in a very sort of gradual, much more gradual process. I had been practicing meditation and TM is one of the really valid, good forms of meditation. I had been practicing meditation for about 32 years before I discovered the in technique. And the thing that happened for me was that I was, at the time I was in a marriage that was not working. Um, my, my former wife was quite uh, trying to control me and I'm not a person to be controlled <laughs> so we had our uh, we had our differences and uh, I had seen something that led me to have the idea of doing what we now call the in technique and I had thought well you know next time I get caught up in the grip of an emotion I'll try it and so sure enough I I did something she didn't like and she said some hurtful thing about it and I felt angry and I remembered oh yeah I'm gonna try that thing so I noticed the anger and I focused on the central strongest part of the anger and gradually it diminished and became less and then it was gone but underneath the anger was another layer of emotion which was a feeling of being hurt by what she had said and so the hurt okay I'll deal with that one too. So I focused on that and put my attention into the center of it. It gradually diminished, became less, then it was gone. And underneath that, there was another layer, which was a layer of sadness. There's a kind of deep sadness that the relationship was not working and uh, not enjoyable. And so I did the same thing for the sadness Underneath that was yet another layer, which was a deep layer of kind of loneliness. And so I did it on that. And finally, that was gone, and there was nothing but pure awareness. Now, from practicing meditation for all those years, I was very familiar with pure awareness. So when I was in the pure awareness and there was nothing else, that was very obvious. But it was so powerful at relieving the unresolved emotions I was very conscious because I had a lot of access to awareness, but I noticed that I would still get caught up in the grip of emotions. And so discovering this was a huge breakthrough benefit for me. And I decided, wow, there's really a way out of the grip of emotion. And the way out is actually in. <laughs> so, so I decided right in that moment, I said, this is so good, I'm gonna get really good at this. And all of you, by the way, need to have that kind of experience with the decision. Um, I'm gonna get really good at every time I get caught up in the grip of an emotion, I'm gonna do this. So I did. So over, this was about March of 1997 that I started having this experience. And I, I, I began to do that. Every time I'd get caught up in the grip of emotion and I had plenty of opportunities, <laughs> I would do the technique, resolve the emotion, and each time I did it, it worked, and then I, you know, the emotional energy was gone, I'd be back in pure awareness, and I thought, you yeah, know, this is really quite cool. So I kept doing that, I did it for several months, and by about the middle of July, 1997, which was, you know, just a few months later, I'd done it, I don't know, a couple dozen times, perhaps, and I was sitting one evening doing a, a procedure of, at the time I, I had a course I was teaching 
called Prosperity Habits That Work. And it was a distance learning course. I would send people stuff. Back then we didn't have email. I would send stuff through the mail and I would do the, the various different procedures and techniques on everybody's behalf, sort of by proxy. And it was a fun course. At one point I had about 300 people in it on all five continents. It was quite good. And one of the things I would have people do is to write out a lengthy description of the things that they'd like to manifest in their life. This is like a series of intention statements, right? And to say them as if they already exist. So to be practicing what I preach, I was doing that myself. So one evening, and, and the instruction was first go into the silence, just like what we're doing with quietness technique, just go into the quietness. And then after a little bit, open your eyes and let the silence read your list because that's where the manifestation of the stuff that you want to have in your life is going to come from. So I was doing that. I, I went into the silence to take my few moments of silence before reading my list. And for some reason, I was just lingering in the silence longer than usual. And all of a sudden, the sense of Tom as an isolated individual just sort of melted away. And I experienced myself as the limitlessness of pure awareness. And as that happened, I just started laughing. And I just laughed and laughed and laughed maybe for five minutes at the huge cosmic joke that I have ever, that I had ever thought of myself as an isolated individual. Because it was so clear to me from the experience, I was experiencing myself as the totality of pure awareness. And the wonderful thing is, it never, it never went back. It's been there ever since. So the few months of practicing what we now call the in technique the in technique is so precious to me because that was really the missing element for me in being able to wake up to experience the totality of what i really am so wow. that's that's kind of the origin of that it's a kind of a, a a cool story and what i experienced is that as i started to live into this new state of being all kinds of amazing experiences happened. For example, I, I found I just couldn't be judgmental about anybody or anything. I just like, couldn't do it, you know, because being judgmental is a form of pushing away some experience that you don't want to feel. And, and I could feel everything. Like there was no reason to not feel everything. So, in, in, in order to be judgmental, I'd have to sort of create this illusion that the problem's over there. Oh, that person is awful and bad, you know, judge them. That's because there's something in them that they're reflecting in me that I'm not looking at in me, right? So that whole phenomenon of being judgmental just kind of like, like with Desi's thing of poof, <laughs> it just kind of disappeared, you know? And then I was walking down the street and I just felt like I'm walking through this warm bath of myself, you know? Very, very cool experience. And everything took on this kind of like frictionless flow. It just everything just became sort of like effortless and easy. And the whole phenomenon of trying to force outcomes, it just kind of disappeared, you know, just stopped doing that. So the, <clears throat> all of what I'm teaching you guys and what I've been teaching everybody since I started teaching this work, is not based on some book that somebody's written, unless it's one of my books. So I've written 13 books now. <laughs> but it's based on the experience, the experience of waking up. And ever since that happened, my goal, my mission is to help everybody to live and enjoy the totality of who they really are. And so my whole focus has been on finding the absolutely the best ways of doing that. So the in technique is very central to that, but it took actually quite a few years. It was really many years later, I was teaching a course on how to do this stuff. And uh, I discovered the out technique in the process of that teaching. I'll tell you that story another.